Hey guys, so since I last week finished this e-paper wall and still have two of these panels to go, to document it a bit, here is my demo e-paper wall in some kind of smaller scale. These are flashed by these so-called pogo flasher by me now and I got myself some velcro tape to just stick them on some plane tried it out in very small scale here and then I got to the hardware store and picked up some bigger uh, wooden planes so let's start and install this and make it all a bit bigger so here's the current status one panel is now nearly done and all these labels are flashed already so now maybe 20 are still left to populate and flash and yeah it works quite well these velcro tapes sticking onto it and it looks impressive I thought about making something a bit more useful and came up with these new 3D printed frames for these e-paper price tags and disassembled ones. I then thought about making it a bit more uh, bigger by adding just more of them together and even put up another size like here two uh, rows and five um, together as this standing part but it looks like this is just not usable anymore in that size so I now um, concluded it at 3 by 2 and these are just slid into the um, side I will try to show it on this one it's fairly simple to install it. This is printed in one piece and these PCBs can be slid in and will hold a bit by the mechanical force of it. And after that I for this one just connected all the plus and minus pins and installed a Li Fepo battery as this has the correct voltage of 3.3 volt and is quite stable. That way it is also quite base heavy and yeah, could now be used as some kind of status display or even in picture frame. In general, I would now also add an ESP32 or such to have direct Wi-Fi capabilities as the internal ZBS chips only have Zigbee. And also the problem on these is that the um, antenna is in the original case like you can see here and I would need or it would be needed to solder some 2.4 gigahertz antenna onto each PCB to have a nice reception in this yeah, configuration but overall I'm quite happy with this size the yeah five row thingy is really a bit too uh, too much and yeah, this three part thingy works quite good and it's quite a hassle and the whole uh, table is full of it but yeah it's nice to see some progress and the next part is now yeah either installing an ESP32 or also and changing the custom firmware from Dimitri to also accept UART commands to have them driven by UART Another option is to um, connect the SPI from each display directly to the ESP32 here. But a UART command set wouldn't be too bad mm, in general to have as an option. And yeah, just wanted to share this status and this super big cat image.